Uh, new tonight, one student's class project has led to significant changes on all campuses in the University of Maryland system. So they will be required to offer 24-hour vending machines that provide emergency contraceptive for students. Now, that's all because of a Bowie State University student whose school project turned into a state law. Our reporter Yamari Sase spoke to that student and also the senator who made it a law. Jakia Johnson saw something was missing on college campuses, access to reproductive health care and 24 access to emergency contraception. If students wanted to access those services, uh, the school referred them to a place called the Healthy Teen Center, which uh, for people who don't have their own cars, who rely on public transportation, it was an hour and 40 minutes one way. And they are only open um, until four o'clock. So stuff like Plan B, um, a lot of schools uh, either didn't offer it or they offered it at prices that were the same as the drugstore, which is $50, $60 is a big deal for a college student. She teamed up with Maryland Senator Ariana Kelly to make it a reality. To help students um, have the access to reproductive health care that they needed, to make sure that students who are choosing to stay in school can stay in schools, students who are not choosing to parent cannot parent. It was a wonderful feeling. Starting July 1st, universities will be required to have a reproductive health care plan with referral networks and 24 access to emergency contraception. I think it's a big deal. Um, emergencies don't happen from 9 to 5. They can happen anytime. University of Maryland offers emergency contraception, but only during health center hours. Freshman Isabel Fernandez says more access is definitely needed. I think it's a good option for students to have. I feel like as long as they make it, you know, like apparent as to where you would get and how you would get it 24-7, I feel like it should be pretty easy. Other schools like Salisbury University are developing their plans now. The bill goes into effect July 1st. Reporting in Prince George's County, I'm Yamarisa Say, DC News Now.